<laughs> You're watching Homework Hotline, where you get help with your homework anywhere in New York State. We'll go back to the phones in just a moment, but first, in tonight's New York State of Mind, we visit Rochester Institute of Technology to find out about the Laptop for Child program. Take a look. My name is Steven Jacobs and I'm a professor at the Rochester Institute of Technology and I work in the Department of Interactive Games and Media where we have bachelor's and master's degrees in how to be a computer game developer. Where we are right now is in a place called the Center for Student Innovation. It's a big place with a lot of other projects. We've got some computer arcade machines we're rebuilding. We have hydroponic air cleaning where we're using plants to clean the air. In another room, we've got students building a flight simulator, so all kinds of stuff goes on. I teach a class that has my students build games for the One Laptop Per Child XO. The One Laptop Per Child program exists to provide laptops, specially designed laptops, to children in schools in the developing world pretty tough, so if they drop it, it's not a problem. These little things that close the lid are also wireless antennas so they can get on a network of the internet, just like your computers can. And inside, this is the interface, so you know, just like you use a mouse to click on your programs, these are all the programs that come with it. So that's basically what it looks like and what it does. All of the software on this, and all the games for this, are built by volunteers around the world. So we wanted to be some of those volunteers. We wanted to help build games for kids. My mom's a teacher, so that kind of really helped me uh, want to do it because, you know, I like gaming and then, you know, I do like the education side of it to be able to teach people. So uh, that just really interested me. So this game is called Blaku. It's kind of a Sudoku version of a, uh, almost like a puzzle game. Right now it's at the fourth grade math. So multiplication, subtraction, addition, uh, division. Most of the work I did was design side. My name is John Moschino. I am a game design major at RIT. The game that we d started uh, development on a year ago uh, is called Fortune Hunter. You start off as uh, two um, archaeologists. You uh, face off against uh, enemies and you do so by solving math problems. So your object is to just go through these dungeons, defeat Enemies, the math problems range from simple stuff, multiplication and division, to more uh, complex stuff, uh, like angles and geometry. It's just about exploration and, and having a fun time, I suppose, and learning. Students around the world can download and use the games that we make here. In developing countries, in one-room classrooms, or one-building schools where there aren't a lot of resources, Kids don't have access to the big libraries we have, or art rooms, or music rooms, or science labs. So that a laptop would be kind of a replacement for a whole big school system. And we here decided we wanted to help that effort. 